All right, so today we're at a customer shop, storage shop. They have a low boy here, and it's cracked in a really hard spot to get at, so you can kind of see it there. Yeah, it's basically a support for this rear axle, the pivot point, the support for the pivot point is cracked, but there's these ramps in the way. So instead of taking the whole ramp off, which is a lot of work, I'm just gonna be carving a section out of this side out so that I can access the crack, gouge it out, weld it, and then replate over it and figure out how to prevent it from happening again. All right, so cut the access hole out. Pretty complicated cut. I had to do some of it with a torch and then some of it with a grinder. I try to do as much with a grinder as possible because it's a cleaner cut and it leaves more material. Now we can see the full crack. And I just gotta figure out how I'm gonna replate over it after I fix it. But yeah, that's a lot easier to cut that section out then cutting all these gussets and removing the whole ramp, which is, you know, how they originally thought they were gonna have to do it, but I had this idea. So the customer already has a Trailblazer uh, 305, or sorry, 302 air pack, so I'm gonna be running off of that and gouging that crack out. And so, start goes up in there, And just keeps going down. That's where the frame connects. That's what that is. That's a piece of the frame. The crack just goes, terminates somewhere there. But I'm going to gouge all of this to make sure. There it is, gouged a bit into this bottom weld, the flat weld. Because the crack ended somewhere here, but just to make sure, take a bit extra out, go around that frame portion there, up, and then into the corner here, which is uh, possibly where the crack started, but it seems to have ended somewhere around here. I gotta do some more grinding with a pencil grinder in there. So yeah, I just gotta prep this all out and then uh, weld it up. Drew out my template onto some three quarter inch steel. And then now I'm gonna cut it all out. All right, I got a piece cut out, beveled in all the places it needs to be, and now I just gotta install it and weld it in. All right, got my reinforcement plate in place. Just gotta do some preheat and then weld it out. And probably add a little chunk up here, tie it in. But some people are going to say, oh, you should never weld straight up and down on a frame. For one, this isn't the frame, this is a bracket on the frame. And number two, the frame is going like this. So that vertical is actually offset. But uh, yeah. <laughs> Thank you. 
right, here it is, all finished out. Painted it uh, black with some spray paint there that they already had sitting around. So that section of steps back in there and grinded the welds flat. Wouldn't even know anything happened there. Almost looks factory if it wasn't stick welded and was MIG welded, but looks pretty good. So now I gotta go do that side. So I'm not gonna film that. You already saw how the whole thing goes.